what is up you guys so in this video i'm just gonna go over the type of bags that i have um and what i'm gonna be using so far um right off the start uh the first bag that i ever got that's an actual cornhole bag that uh is not like just the backyard type of bags is uh the all slides just the regular all sides from all cornhole um these are really fast. Um, this side is about a seven, the other side is about a 10. So they are kind of just um, very kind of like hole friendly. Well, uh, to a point I've had these bags kind of get stuck in the hole sometimes, but um, uh, it, for me, it's a good start. Uh, so I really enjoy this bag and they're pretty floppy. They're kind of just like, <laughs> I've thrown these a lot, so they've kind of just naturally flopped up. Um, so this bag's pretty good uh, for me, uh, pretty fast. When I take them to kind of blind draws, uh, nobody likes, likes to throw them. They kind of like the stickier bags. I live in uh, Las Vegas, so it's pretty dry. Um, so the boards are not humid. Or, you know, no humidity, it's all dry. So the, the boards are pretty fast uh, overall. So these just kind of fly past the board if you don't, or if you're not used to it. Um, but for me, it's a great start. I like it. I think I'm always gonna keep it, this type of bag and always kind of throw it here and there. But I did pick up some other bags because Fire Cornhole had a sale going on for uh, the bags. Usually they're about $60, but now uh, or during the sale, it was $40. So pretty good price. So I picked up some incinerators and assaults. So the incinerator, when I did my research, um, they kind of uh, said it's it's what's well, a fast bag as well. But the difference is the beads inside is uh, different from the all slides. Cause that a mix of uh, just beads and then disc in there. So uh, I haven't really broke them in too much, kind of play with them a little bit, but I uh, haven't really done too much to it. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to them breaking in and then seeing how that goes. Um, I like fast bags. And then another big difference between this one and the all slides is that the corners, if you kind of take a look, these are like more pointed, like a square, not rounded like this one, which I guess is like a preference, but um, uh, I'm kind of excited to see how different it could be because I feel like this one could kind of dip a little bit into the hole as like all slides. Sometimes they they won't go the whole way. They'll kind of just get stuck and just stay there. So I'm, one, I'm wondering if this one, if it has the pointed corners and the different fill, if that won't happen as much and it just kind of slides in there more often. Um, so that'd be pretty good. This side is a seven and then an eight as per their website. Um, I haven't broken them in yet, so I'm I'm excited to see how these throw. I like me a, a fast bag. And then I uh, picked up those salts as well. So this will be my first time having a, a mid, mid-range bag. So this is a five and a seven. So I haven't thrown these at all, but um, uh, I think I'm gonna wait and break them in with some toss sauce. I ordered some toss sauce, so I'm gonna wait for those to come through. The incinerators, I'm kind of throwing them here and there um to try to kind of break them in like that uh because they're supposed to break in pretty easily um so that'd be pretty pretty cool once these get broken in especially this one because a lot of people don't like fast bags especially where i'm from so this one would be kind of one that i would use for my blind draws and kind of get used to and then have people kind of be okay with using this this one so uh, I'm excited to break this one in, but uh, I think I'm going to do a video with the toss sauce and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, two new bags. Um, still have my all slides, but those are the bags I use. If you guys have some other bags that you guys recommend, like eventually I want to get like a, a carpet bag. Um, but uh, for now, these are kind of like my light up. Um, and the, the fire corner bags, they just look awesome. They look cool. I'm, I'm really excited to, to start throwing these in, um, especially this one, the salt. Um, I think it'll be, a, I think it'll be a decent bag. So, really excited. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of other bags or have some reviews on what these bags are, or kind of like, um, just some advice on on these, yeah, let me know, um, because these are pretty, pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah. We'll go on from there. I think I, I would probably end up doing like a review later on on each one of these bags. 
um, a more in-depth review on each one. Um, the off slides, I think I'm pretty uh, comfortable kind of reviewing on that. Um, but the other ones, we'll see. Like I said, incinerators, I'm kind of just throwing to try to break them in. They're starting to get a little bit uh, floppier, but as you can see, they're definitely not not anywhere near where they could be. They're just kind of there. And then the salts, man, look at this. This is <laughs> pretty much nothing. There you go. <laughs> so this will be a good, good way to see how the top sauce works and see if, if it makes a big difference, but I'm sure any difference would make Again, unbreaking these in. But yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys, some other bags I should try out for a beginner like me or, uh, or uh, anything, uh, advice on these specific bags and what's good in them and what's what's not as good. But yeah, you guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. All right, bye-bye, guys.